Yeah, we get a little break from the rain this week. Wednesday does have a storm chance. Today, a few scattered showers will move through the area. Sometime this morning, through about the early or middle part of the afternoon, that should be our window for any rain that comes in uh, later today. Mid 60s this morning, as Devante just mentioned, comfortable start. 69 in Burlington, 64 in Martinsville, even some lower 60s across the west. There is that excess of rain. Yesterday was setting up back this way. It has eased this way and starting to get some mid level support. It's going to enhance it a bit more, so we'll have some showery weather uh, already starting to move into our western counties. We'll pick up those rain chances. Uh probably by six or seven o'clock this morning farther west. Patchy shower in the triad temperatures warming into the mid 70s a bit later in the afternoon. Pretty cloudy today on top of that light winds out of the east eventually turning a little more southeast later today. Chance for a shower, maybe some fog this morning in the foothills. Our startup temperatures are in the low to mid 60s this morning, lower 70s by lunchtime and a high of around 75 degrees a bit later in the day. Possibly if we get some decent rain through and it tapers off a little bit longer. We may not get out of the lower 70s today. Uh, temperatures this morning in the 60s in the high country, high of around 71, thick clouds, an isolated shower possible. We're going to taper off a bit later on, may possibly returning later on tonight, but the rain moving in. Very spotty in coverage, very light too on top of that. Perhaps a moderate shower mixing in, but not much more than that. Uh, leaving us this afternoon as temperatures warm up, likely we'll see a few breaks in the cloud deck before the sun goes down. And then overnight clouds return, maybe a shower chance by early Wednesday. Best rain chance for Wednesday will come through the triad as the front comes in. Temperatures heating up along that boundary will help fire up some afternoon storms as they're exiting. Maybe a strong storm possible. Uh, most of that will be east of us. I'm not really overly concerned about severe weather for tomorrow. Any possibility will be rather limited. And then we dry out. Things are looking nicer for Thursday and Friday with lower humidity. Temperatures, though, will remain warm. Busy tropics again. Tropical Storm Dorian now moving through Barbados and into the Lesser Antilles, the gateway to the Caribbean. Uh, it's lost some punch. 50 mile an hour winds around that storm. West Northwest movement at 13. Latest track does have it becoming our second hurricane this season. Perhaps a Puerto Rican or Dominican landfall and then moves into the um, Bahamas in general direction of Florida. Uh, middle of the holiday weekend. This could be a landfalling hurricane again over Florida on the Atlantic side sometime late Saturday. That's something that will need to be watched. Well farther north of that is tropical depression number six. This developed yesterday. Sustained winds at 35. This storm could develop into tropical storm Aaron, but it is expected to stay offshore. Still could cause some uh, rough rip currents over the holiday weekend. It's something that we'll be watching. The storm at that point should be long gone, but again, Aaron, the next name on the list. Beach forecast does look a little bit stormy with a front stalling there. Locally, though, it does look nice. Maybe a late weekend rain chance. Temperatures warming to the upper 80s by Friday and Saturday.